in terms of the reaction from the, the Prime Minister, I, um, I wish that the Prime Minister would have um, given some measure of an apology to Canadians. The, the Commissioner's report was quite clear on, in terms of wrongdoing that happened. And, and for me, I was always taught when something wrong or you've done something wrong that you apologize for it. I think it would have uh, went a long way. Well, I think that it's really important that um, Canadians read the report of the Conflict of Interest and Ethics Commissioner. Um, they were important findings that were, were based on fact. I hope the Prime Minister reads the report. And I think it's important to ensure that public officials have um, a measure of trust, um, or that Canadians have a measure of trust in their public officials. And I think it's an opportunity for the Prime Minister to uh, to apologize to Canadians and start to, to rebuild um, some trust that may have been lost. I wish that this situation um, hadn't lived on now for, for eight months. I think that things could have been dealt with very differently. Um, for my part, uh, I had great clarity in terms of my role as the Chief Law Officer, as the Attorney General of Canada, and I was very diligent in, in that role. And, and I was doing my job as the Attorney General, and fundamental to that job was to protect the Prime Minister and to ensure the independence of the prosecutorial service and to uphold the rule of law. I provided my unvarnished advice to the Prime Minister um, in speaking about the inappropriate nature of the interactions of which the Ethics Commissioner uh, provided in his report. Um, I made it very clear um, what the, the boundaries were and what was appropriate in, in terms of, of actions. But I want to ensure that we can, as a country, look at what happened. Um, we need to be very vigilant in terms of making sure that our institutions are independent, that we underscore and enforce the, the fundamental tenets of our democracy and uphold the rule of law. And that applies to, to me as it does to you, as it does to the Prime Minister. And, and I hope that there are lessons that are learned from this about how fundamental it is to ensuring the nature of the country that we have come to expect to live in. As elected officials, we all have to ensure that we are um, making decisions based on values and principles, have a clear understanding of the institutions of our government and how appropriate decisions need to be made and how independence of institutions needs to be upheld. That's what Canadians expect. That's what I know the constituents of Vancouver Granville expect of me as their member of parliament. And that's what I'm going to continue to, to advocate for. And um, I hope that all uh, citizens in this country when they go into the election in October um, have conversations and have um, and look to candidates that hold a, a measure of integrity and that they can trust that the decisions that they make on their behalf or the discussions that they engage in on their behalf are done based on those fundamental values. Well, I, I don't have any personal regrets about the actions that I took. I was very confident in the, um, the actions that I have taken. Um, the regret that I have is that this has preoccupied uh, the country for now some eight months and it didn't have to. Um, something went seriously wrong here has been confirmed by an independent officer of parliament and this could have been resolved. Actions could have taken to remedy this situation and to acknowledge that it, it wouldn't happen again and, and potentially seeing the Prime Minister have apologized back as early as in, in February. And um, that to me is a regret that this had to, to go on for so long when it didn't have to. Well, I, I don't think my personal opinion of the Prime Minister, I, I really wish that it is necessarily relevant, but I really um, wish that I would have heard from the Prime Minister um, you know, that acknowledgement that something went wrong. And, and as we all have been taught from a very young age, I believe, um, when you do something wrong, um, you apologize for it and um, leave it to Canadians to decide. But uh, trust is incredibly important, and public officials need to uh, ensure we do everything we can to maintain the trust of of the people uh, who put that mark on the ballot beside our names.